Hi guys, today's project I'm working on a medallion and um, as you can see in front of me I have a big huge cardboard which I sandwiched together two pieces and as you can see here the two pieces I went ahead and hot glued them together and now I'm in the process of paper macheing the edges as you can see here. Uh, you're going to need glue, water, newspaper, scissors, two pieces of cardboard, sand. That's all this project requires for now. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my edge. Okay, so now the uh, paper mache has dried around the edge of this medallion, which you can see here. That's my newspaper. Okay, my strips of newspaper that I have cut into pieces, into strips, and I have glued it all around. Now what you are looking at, the dark gray that outlines the newspaper and the cardboard, that's actually my other form of paper mache that's actually this form right here okay now this is what happened this is what it looks like when you take newspaper water and glue let it sit and then you start mushing it with your hand so this is what I have here remember I say to wear a glove if you feel comfortable like that without blood so be it but keep in mind it does have ink in there okay so this is my paper mache and right here I have uh, another little board and I've taken, so I've taken some of my paper mache, as you can see here, and I'm just rolling it, making it very thin. And that's, I'm going to apply it to the outside, right at the edge of the newspaper, because I, I need a border. Okay, so that's what I've been doing, It's just rolling this piece right here. Okay, so you sort of get the idea. It's just almost like working with clay, or if you want, uh, like dough. Okay, just roll it until it gets to the size that you want it. I want mine a little thin. You may want yours a little bigger than that. So there's no mistake in this project. Okay, so here we go. I have a piece that resembles the other size that I have going around my border. So let me just go ahead and place that down. Make sure there's no lumps in there. Roll it until... It feels nice and thin. Here we go. And place it right here. Try to connect it the best I can. Keep in mind, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be covered. This outline, this border that I've made with paper mache, is going to be covered, okay, with sand. So you're not going to see where the papers connect with one another or if they're connect properly. You're not going to see that. And if you find out later that all your strips, paper mache, are not even, there's some bigger than others, and you started applying the sand, the ones that are thinner, just go ahead and apply more sand so they could appear to be around the same size going around. So guys, so right now what I'm doing, just to make sure that my paper mache around the border of my medallion stays put, I'm running some glue along the edges, okay, and making sure that my paper mache border sits right on the glue. Can't tilt it too much, but you get enough. These little, um circular things here are paper mache I just made balls and I pressed them down with my finger I had to hot glue them in place just to make sure that they're sturdy they're not wobbling shaking because once the sand gets there sometimes the sand itself building up underneath will cause show you use different shapes that I use in my medallion okay now, as for these little balls, of course, the, those were created with paper mache. This is where you wet your paper, add water and glue, put them in the bowl, mush them together, and make these little tiny balls. Um, keep in mind, when you make anything with paper mache in this form, when it dry, it reduces, it shrinks. So, it worked to my advantage. Just before it dried completely, though, I was able to press it down and add it to my medallion. Um, and also, I dipped it in glue after pressing it. 
dipped it in the sand, wait until it dried a little bit, and hot glue it to my medallion so it, it I would have a, a steady, a sturdy uh, little fixture there. Now, when you take a look at my medallion, you'll see little square shapes. Basically what that is, is a box of cereal. I took a strip, a large strip like this, fold it in half. It's good to always double it because the weight of the sand, you don't need it to cave. So double it if possible, even triple it. So I doubled it and I cut it out in the center. As you can see, I did here. Applied my glue, okay, to the front surface. I applied the glue and then put it in the sand. If you want, you can do it on both sides. It doesn't make a difference, but the sides of the cardboard needs to be covered. Okay, so you can put a good amount of sand on this, and once you do and it dry, it becomes heavy. So that's great. After that, also in my medallion, you see little things that look like this. And basically what that is, also cardboard, like a cereal box. Okay, I've cut it into strips, just like this. I had one here that I start rolling up. And basically, I would use either a nail or a toothpick, roll the cardboard onto the toothpick, and keep rolling it. And when I get to the end of it, I just add a little bead of glue. Now, if I want this to be big, this little spin thing here, I would just add another piece of cardboard where this one ends, like right here. I don't know if you can see that. Right here where it ends, I would just basically continue on right here. Not overlapping it, gluing it down. Let me show you. Just like so, right here. Adding a little bit of glue. Let me tighten this a little bit. I'm making it tighter. Oh, I'm making a mess. Add a little bit of glue and then go back right where this one ends. You see that on top? Right there, that line. And I'm going to connect, make sure that they flush. And hold it down and just keep spinning. Just keep spinning. Sometimes it unravels, but you, you get the idea. And just, here we go. And so two strips will make it bigger. And the more strips you add, see, here's how big it is. Put a little dab of glue again and hold it right there. So if you have a project or if you want this little circular thing to be bigger in your medallion, you just keep adding your strips and you keep going around and around. I have the same identical circle here, matter of fact, the same cardboard box. If you take a closer look at that cardboard box, you see it's several layers that makes up this cardboard. So basically what I've done is go to the edge, like so, and peel it off slowly, gently, and it will reveal what's underneath. You see? Here we go. I got that in. Let me go back. And basically that's all to it. I keep going in there and undoing this right here. It looks like a big old potato chip if you ask me. <laughs> and apply glue. Okay. Leave the other side as is. I apply glue and then I lay it flat in my sand. Get the sand all in there. If you happen to get the cracks filled, you just go in there with a toothpick and just make sure the crevices are not covered. Now keep in mind, all the products, all the projects that I have done with sand, you have to seal them. Apply paint, you know, 
usually with my sand products, I go back and give them a little, a little light wash. And two, with this medallion, you can apply anything underneath. If making your shapes out of paper mache is too time consuming, then go ahead and cut them out. Cut them out, but keep in mind they have to be more than one layer of cardboard box. Cut them out any shape you want, wave patterns, you know, stripes if you want. Cut them out, apply glue, sand, apply them to your, uh, to your, to your medallion. I'll have pictures of my medallion, and thanks again for watching.